Ah, oh, we're on. Greetings, it's Manny Bananian, Silver of Manium, live at West Green. Actually, it's Steve at West Green. Silver Super Manium, Station Master. Now, yeah, hold on. I've got to tell you, I've got to show you this. I'm very, uh, I'm very good at this. Hold on. Look at this. I put my camera up there, didn't I? Hey. So what's going on? What's going on? I've been building my station, or one of the buildings. There's my sidewall. Uh, I went out today. I went out and bought some loads of stuff, some UHU Yuhu glue. Uh, what else did I buy? Oh yeah, I bought uh, fixable, workable mat. Anyway, you use it on sealer. I thought oh, I'll just seal that to stop the moisture. And also, I bought. Hold on. These are cheap. I got these from a uh, super cheap autos. It's not auto paint. Look at this. Only cost four dollars. What's that in old money? About two quid. That's Brunswick Green. Heritage Cream. Mmm, lovely. So, my doors and windows. Well, I haven't done the windows. No. Why didn't I do the windows? That's a good point. Should have done them. Anyway, I can do those. There's my doors. There's the door frame. I've only done one side. And the door. So they're going to be Brunswick Green. But look at this. Now it is shiny, but it won't be when I finish because so this is gloss paint. But as I said, it will not be shiny because once it's all in, it'll all be matted down with satin or dull coat. But that's okay. It's a cheap way to paint. There were little mouldy doorknobs. Oh, where's the door? It's camouflage, isn't it? There were doorknobs on there, they're moulded in the white metal. I didn't like those, plus also they're all on one side and I, I want to change the, the way doors operate. So I've got these, I forgot what I bought these for now, something to do with my railway. These are little brass pins, so I'm going to use those for handles. I'll just drill through and super glue that in. Here's the valence I've got for it. That's from Poppy's Wood Tech. This is Great Eastern Valence. That'll have to be cut down in height. But my next job, and I haven't quite worked this out yet, how I'm going to do this. Because it's this clapboard, hold on. I think you know where I'm going with this. Hold on. Don't go away. Now, the idea is that this is uh, 6.3 mil. There it is, evergreen. 0.1 tires, 250 mil long by 0.10 thick, and it's 6.3 wide. So I'll have to overlap these, glue them on one by one, right up to the top. A pain in the bum job, but uh, I guess what I don't know is how to set this out because I don't want it to sort of go up and down, and I want it to have some consistency. I've got to sit down and think about that, how I'm going to do that. But anyway, that's. That's what I'm up to. I want to get this front done. And then what else can I do? Yeah, once the front's done, uh, I can work on the sides. Put it all together. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any ideas how to do this, let me know.